Hi guys, your messy soap maker Nicole here with Natural Desire Soap Company. I am excited to start our seven day, seven tips, self care and self love tips. This is our first video since our first tip. And I will say that I am not like a self care professional. I am a soap maker. I am here to share with you a lot of things that have worked for me throughout the years and a lot of things I've heard have worked for others and I just, if you implement some of these, maybe one a day, if you watch all the seven days and all the seven tips, maybe implement one tip each day for this week and you continue them, see what works for you, I promise you, you will feel a difference and you will feel loved and you will feel cared about by yourself. So my first tip today, and it may not be for everyone, like I said, is journaling. Oh my goodness, go buy yourself a gorgeous little journal, maybe even some pens you like, I don't care, whatever it, makes, it, it takes to make you excited about journaling and start writing down I mean, you can write down so many different things. I write down what I'm grateful for at the end of the day and definitely in the morning before it even starts. And it can be something little like my coffee. Um, <laughs> I love coffee and I'm grateful for that. So then that makes helps me acknowledge things that I'm grateful for throughout the day. Journaling throughout your life, especially when you have, you have journals that you continue to look back to, you can look back to that memory and you can laugh about it and you can move on and you can realize how much you have truly grown from looking at what your brain has written down. Journaling is like such a peaceful space because it's you and a piece of paper. It's just you and a piece of paper. Nobody is judging you. Nobody is giving their opinions. But when you take your feelings and all those wild thoughts in your head and you write them down on a piece of paper, it is just like that telephone call you make to your girlfriend when someone made you mad and you vent and then you feel so much better. It's just like that phone call. At least for me, it's just like that phone call. If you get really, really, really stressed, take out that journal, write down what you're stressed about, write down what you're stressed about and then look at it and, and ask yourself, can I fix the stress? If the answer is yes, then write down brainstorms and write down ways that you can fix that problem and that stress so that next time you know what to do but write it down, get it out of your brain. Get it out of your brain, especially before bed. You can go to bed so much more peacefully if you get everything out of your head. <laughs> That's why they have sleep meditations and storytelling meditations and things like that because it, you have to shut off your brain to go to sleep. I know us women are so guilty for just thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. Your brain went so fast, you stayed up for hours and then you had a rough day the next day try pulling out that journal if you're thinking too much or better yet just write it down before you go to sleep and maybe you won't have that problem in the first place back to the stress i'm sorry i got, i like to ramble <laughs> back to the stress you ask yourself if you can change it the answer is yes figure out ways to do it if the answer is no then you should truly acknowledge that stress appreciate the fact that you acknowledge it and gracefully ask yourself to let that stress go Gracefully ask yourself, talk to yourself. That's what journaling is about. You don't always have to talk out loud. Sometimes that works. I really feel like physically writing it down with my hand gets it out of my brain, especially when I'm planning things the same, the same thing. If I say what I have to do all day, great, I'm gonna forget one. But if I write it down, it's like even if I don't have my planner with me, I remember that I, I, that I wrote it down. I remember physically doing that and seeing it. So it's like your eyes with your mouth and your brain. Um, it's truly, truly helpful. So I really hope that this tip was helpful. This was, this was day one for our seven self-care and love tips. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can get notifications for the next seven days. I'm gonna give a self-care and love tip every day for the next six days now because today's the seventh one. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it tonight or very soon. Go buy yourself a journal uh, or find an old notebook and try it. Uh, I really appreciate you guys tuning in and I really hope that these self-care and love tips do something for you. Thank you, bye.